everyone! Welcome back to my channel. I'm Pixie Sticks. Thank you for choosing to spend some of your day with me today. This video is going to be a digital time lapse of a recent challenge I did on Instagram. So, Tom Bancroft posted a challenge where he put up a sketch he had done of Wonder Woman and asked everybody to clean this up. So, it's a clean this up challenge where you take his sketch and line it how you would line it and I thought that'd be the perfect challenge for me because I love doing line art. I definitely had plenty of other things that I probably should have worked on instead but it's been a while since I just did something I wanted to do for the fun of it so I decided to go ahead and do this challenge instead. If you don't know who Tom Bancroft is, he is a former Disney animator. He is the one who designed Mushu for Mulan and worked on a bunch of other classic Disney movies. He is also the creator of Mermaid, so if you've ever taken part in that, that's due to him also. So I was really excited to be able to take part in this challenge that he created. I feel like I maybe should address why I haven't posted in a couple two and a half, three weeks, this is the third week. Um, it has to do with a few things. Part of it was my shop launch and I'm really excited to post my vlog I did during that time. That'll probably go up next week if I can get it edited in time. Part of it is because I have anxiety slash depression and for some reason I've been going through a kind of depressive episode where I'm not sad, but I'm having trouble motivating myself to do almost anything. So it's been hard for me to get work done lately and I've been trying to be easy on myself about it and just allow myself to take more time to spend with my family and not worry too much about artwork because it's stressing me out a little bit and I don't want to push myself when that's my mood because I'm afraid that then I will burn myself out on art and I don't want to do that because it's one of the only things that I am really passionate about and love to do in my spare time. So that's why I decided to put aside everything else that I was working on and just do some line art for a challenge. <laughs> I almost didn't post this video because I feel like not a lot of people care too much about watching speed paints when it's digital art anymore, but then again I see a lot of people watching some of the bigger YouTubers speed paints, so I don't know, maybe it's still a thing, maybe it's not, but I felt like I should at least get a video out to update you all on why I haven't posted recently. <laughs> so if you're not into speed paints, I understand. But if you like to watch art in process, then hopefully you enjoyed this video a little bit. I had a great time drawing this. As you can probably tell, I changed the face and the anatomy and the pose quite a bit, just trying to find that perfect look that I was going for. The anatomy in the original sketch just was very difficult for me to wrap my head around. <laughs> I felt like she was twisting in an awkward way, so I tried to incorporate the same feel with my pose, but also make it look a bit more natural, which is more my style. I think Tom Bancroft draws in a, a very cartoony style, whereas I guess mine is, I don't know, semi-realistic? It's definitely not realistic, and it's pretty cartoony, but it has more realistic proportions than like a very cartoony style. I don't know if that makes sense. <laughs> anyway, it looked like in the sketch she had just maybe finished throwing a punch or something because her body was kind of twisted that way and I could not get her back arm pose to work the way it did in the sketch so I pulled it up next to her face instead and then to me it looked like she might be holding her lasso of truth. So I threw that in there because it seemed to fit. I had a really cool idea about how to kind of bring it into the foreground and blur it out so that the line work had dimension even without color or background. And maybe you can tell me in the end if you think that I achieved that. <laughs> 
I think out of everything I had the most trouble getting her hips and legs to look right. Um, I was trying to go for like a powerful stance where she looked balanced and strong, but it just kept looking wrong. I think part of it was because of where the drawing cuts off. It's just a weird spot to end it. In the end, I came up with something that I think works a lot better than what I had for most of the time I was drawing this. <laughs> so yeah, I fix it sort of at the end. I'm really, really happy with how her face came out though. I feel like the expression came through, which is something I'm not really practiced at. So I'm happy that I was able to get her fierce expression in there. Anyway, the challenge was just to create line work. So that's all I've done so far, but I'm tempted to give this some color and see how I like it at that point. I'll probably put the line work on my Patreon as a coloring page. So if you're interested in coloring pages of my art and other goodies, feel free to check out my Patreon. The link is always down below in the description. I really want to thank you if you've made it this far into the video for watching because I know speed draws and time lapses are not everyone's favorite, but I just really wanted to get a video posted for you guys and I don't have a lot of spoons lately, <laughs> so this is what I was able to get done. So yes, thank you if you watched it all the way through, that really does help my channel, as does liking, subscribing, hitting the bell notification. All those things would be greatly appreciated. I'm really excited for next week. 
when I should hopefully have my next vlog up and that one goes over everything that happened with my shop launch. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned. Anyway guys, that's it from me today. Thanks for being here. I hope you did enjoy this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye everyone.